You know, I guess one person can make a difference. Enough said. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 20 Stan Lee cameos. <laughs> that is hilarious. For this list, we're going over the occasions when Marvel Comics writer Stan Lee appeared in small roles in movies and TV shows. If there's a Stan Lee appearance we somehow overlooked, head into the comments, true believers. Number 20. A Master of Subtlety – Teen Titans Go to the Movies Stan Lee may be known for his cameos in Marvel movies, but just once he shows up in a DC property. When the Teen Titans go to a studio backlot, they walk by Stan Lee, who at first appears in the background, but then shoves his way into the center of the shot, poking fun at how subtle his cameos are. Hey everybody, look at me! I'm Stan Lee, doing my subtle cameo. Excuse me, Mr. Stan. This is a DC movie? Oh gee, I gotta get out of here. However, after being informed that it's a DC movie, he promptly books it. That isn't the end of his appearance. Lee even shows up during a later chase sequence, leaping onto the Titans' golf cart as they make their escape. Stan Lee! I'm back. I don't care if it's a DC movie. I love cameos. Not now, Stan Lee! <laughs> Excelsior! The guy loves cameos, and we love seeing him in them, so we can hardly blame him. Number 19. Security Guard – Hulk This cameo is two for the price of one. The 2003 Hulk film is known for a lot of things, from being somewhat divisive to its comic book framing. Puny human. One of its lesser-known notable moments occurs when Bruce Banner visits an institute. Upon his arrival, he's greeted by one of two security guards, played by Stan Lee. The best part is that he's telling his colleague that security needs to be beefed up. But as far as I'm concerned, security ought to be beefed Good morning, Dr. Krenzler. Security ought to be beefed up a lot more. In a place like this, you can't be too careful. Of course, his fellow guard is played by former Hulk actor Lou Ferrigno. There's probably enough beef in the security with Ferrigno on staff, Stan. Number 18. Stan the Man – Thor Yes, that's literally what he's credited as. After Thor's hammer Mjolnir crashes into the New Mexico desert, it creates something of a stir. A bunch of guys decide to try their hands at removing the hammer from the rock it's stuck in. They make a day of it, cooking out and generally doing what guys do when there's something pointless and dumb to be done. None of them prove worthy. But one proves enterprising enough to use his pickup truck to try to remove the hammer. Unfortunately, it takes his entire truck bed along with it. Did it work? We feel like Stan the Man could do it if he used his hands. Number 17. Himself, The Big Bang Theory the protagonists of The Big Bang Theory are huge comic book geeks, so when their local comic store manages to secure a signing by Stan Lee, they're naturally thrilled. However, Sheldon Cooper is devastated since he needs to appear in court on the day in question. Thursday's Stan Lee Day. Now you see what you've done? <laughs> because of you, we're all going to miss Stan Lee. Whoa! <laughs> What do you mean, all? Not only does he miss Lee signing, he also ends up in jail. To rectify the situation, Sheldon's neighbor Penny takes him to visit Stan in person. However, Sheldon's lack of personal skills leads him to take Stan's sarcastic invitation to come in seriously, leading to a restraining order. Do you think you can just ring my doorbell anytime you want? I mean, why don't you just come on in and watch the Lakers game with me? Well, I'm not much of a sports fan, but thank you. <laughs> Although Sheldon is weirdly thrilled about receiving it, we're more excited about how well Stan Lee pulls off those Fantastic Four pajamas. Number 16. Shrunken Carman – Ant-Man and the Wasp 
Stan Lee has cameoed as some swinging characters who embody the make-love-not-war attitude of the 60s in the MCU. While it was tempting to choose his brief appearance in Avengers Endgame, our pick goes to a cameo that details the end result of the 60s lifestyle. Hey man, make love, not war. During a chase through the streets of San Francisco, Wasp fires her shrinking weapon at her pursuers. She misses them a few times and hits the car of a man played by Stan Lee. His reaction is a perfectly hilarious response to having your car shrink before your eyes. Well, the 60s were fun, but now I'm paying for it. Number 15, Hot Dog Vendor, Phineas and Ferb. Phineas and Ferb Mission Marvel is the Marvel crossover episode of Phineas and Ferb, and it is one of the strangest crossovers to ever happen. Still, it would be weirder if Stan Lee didn't join in on the fun. Lee provides narration for the special, but he also has a cameo role. Stan shows up several times during the story as a New York City hot dog vendor. Hey, Vinny. The usual? Yep, yeah, same old, same old. After having his cart stolen by several Marvel villains and Dr. Doofenshmirtz, the purveyor of questionable meats relocates to Danville, only to have his cart shrunk by the same villains. And when the heroes win, it's hot dogs for everyone. Yeah, hot dogs for everyone, baby! Excelsior. Number 14, Husband and Wife, X-Men Apocalypse. This X-Men film may have proven divisive, but Stan Lee's cameos are something most of us love. The titular blue villain of the film, Apocalypse, decides to launch all of the world's nuclear weapons at once. Among those shown reacting to the missile's firing is a man played by Stan Lee. While the cameo isn't as humorous as most others, in this case it's who he's with that makes it so special. Clutching Stan is a woman played by his real-life wife Joan in her first appearance on the big screen. Number 13, Strip Club DJ, Deadpool. When Wade Wilson and his buddy Weasel visit the strip club that Wade's girlfriend Vanessa works at, the DJ not only announces an ironically named stripper, he also proves to be played by Stan Lee. Give it up for chastity! Or as I like to call it, irony. Stan Lee's cameos are usually quite wholesome. Naturally, Deadpool flips that on its head. The cameo, like many, is a brief one, but the image of the comics legend in such a sleazy environment is quite a hilarious contrast. Quite unfortunate. We have to wonder if this is a recent career move for Stan's character or if he's a veteran of the field. Number 12, Fred's Father, Big Hero 6. Big Hero 6 sees a group of young heroes don costumes to fight crime using gadgets and robots. In a post credit scene, one of them, Fred, stares at a portrait of his father, played by Stan Lee, and laments that he can't be open about his accomplishments as a hero with him, as he's never around. Dad, I just wish I could share my accomplishments with you. Lo and behold, Fred discovers a secret room behind the portrait that indicates his dad is a superhero too. His father then shows up, and the two of them share a hug after discovering how much they have in common. I wear them front. I wear them back. I, I go, go inside, inside out. out. Then, then I go, I go front, front and, and back. back. Dad! We have a lot to talk about. We've always known Stan Lee is a hero in the figurative sense. This movie just made it literal. Number 11, FedEx Driver. Captain America Civil War. The ending of Captain America Civil War is quite heavy. The Avengers are broken up, and Rhodey is having a difficult time with physical therapy after a spinal injury, assisted by Tony Stark. It's just a first pass. Yeah. Give me some feedback. Anything you think of shock absorption, lateral movement, cup holder? You may want to think about some AC down there. <laughs> <laughs> Fortunately, some much-needed levity arrives in the form of a special delivery. A FedEx driver with a striking resemblance to Stan Lee arrives with a delivery for a Tony Stank. Are you Tony Stank? Yes, this is, this is Tony Stank. You're in the right place. Thank you for that! We're not sure which is funnier. The idea that the driver has never heard of the world-famous Tony Stark, or that he got the name wrong on purpose. Rhodey will never let the name go, and we'll never forget this cameo. Number 10, 
The Watcher's Informant, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 Over the years, many fans of the Marvel Cinematic Universe have speculated that the characters played by Stan Lee are the same person. And this movie confirmed this idea. When Rocket, Groot, and Yondu are flitting through hyperspace, they pass by a group of Watchers listening to a report by this very man. Anyway, before I was so rudely interrupted, at that time, I was a Federal Express man. The informant recalls the time he worked for FedEx. The post credit scene follows up on this and sees the Watchers abandon the man in the spacesuit, leaving him stranded. Hey, fellas. Hey, wait, where are you going? Hey, you were supposed to be my lift home. How will I get out of here? Hey, oh gee, I've got so many more stories to tell. Oh, guys, oh gee. It's a hilarious shout out to the fans' many theories and a great nod to Marvel lore. Number 9. Hugh Hefner, Iron Man Tony Stark runs into a lot of celebrities, given that he is one himself. While it was tempting to talk about his encounter with Larry King in Iron Man 2, the original Iron Man movie has a more amusing cameo by a celeb. Larry King. Larry! When attending an event, Tony compliments a man in a smoking jacket with two women on his arms, calling him Hef, as in Hugh Hefner. However, the character is again played by Stan Lee. The great Hef. What we're wondering is if Hugh Hefner is being impersonated by the same Watcher informant character. Or maybe he's just the MCU version of Hefner and King. Or Tony Stark made a mistake. All of these options are funny, though. Number 8. Stan, Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse This animated masterpiece is full of cameos and Easter eggs, so it's only fitting that Stan Lee gets one as well. While Stan appears several times during the film, including as a portrait and on the subway. His most prominent appearance occurs right after the death of his universe's Peter Parker. Miles Morales goes to a costume shop run by Stan. I'm going to miss him. Yeah, we were friends, you know. Stan claims to have been a friend of Peter slash Spider-Man's and sells Miles a Spider-Man costume. While it's more likely to be about his no-return policy, Stan's advice on the Spider-Man suit fitting eventually applies to Miles' situation as a new Spider-Man perfectly. Can I return it if it doesn't fit? It always fits. Eventually. Number 7. Himself, Fantastic Four, Rise of the Silver Surfer Stan Lee has shown up in both of the 2000s Fantastic Four films, although his appearance as Willie Lumpkin, a character he created in the first Fantastic Four movie, is worth noting. Welcome back to the Baxter, Dr. Richards. I've got the usual for you. Good to have you back, sir. Thanks, Willie. His appearance in Rise of the Silver Surfer is more notable. At Sue and Reed's wedding, Stan Lee shows up and believes that he, Stan Lee, should be on the reception list. Invitation, sir. Um, I should be on that list. Name? Stan Lee. Yeah, uh, nice try, buddy. No, nice no, try. really, uh, nice I'm try. Stan Lee. Yeah. Not only is it wild that Stan Lee exists within this movie's universe, it's also a great callback to a Fantastic Four comic book, in which Lee and Jack Kirby were also turned away from their wedding. Number 6. World War II Veteran – Avengers Age of Ultron The Avengers certainly know how to party. Although their bash in Avengers Tower features plenty of notables, our focus here is for one of the elderly veterans in attendance, no doubt invited by Captain America. It's not meant for mortal men. Neither was Omaha Beach, Blondie. Stop trying to scare us. Come on. All right. The vet, played by Stan Lee, is unimpressed by Thor talking up a particular liquor he brought with him to the event. However, he soon discovers that the God of Thunder wasn't lying about its potency, as he has to be led away since he's barely able to stand. Excelsior. Who would have thought that Stan Lee would be getting drunk on screen with heroes he created? Excelsior, indeed. Number 5. Smithsonian Guard – Captain America – The Winter Soldier Things look pretty dire in Captain America's second solo film. S.H.I.E.L.D. has been infiltrated by HYDRA, and Cap's buddy Bucky is a brainwashed killing machine. Bucky? Who the hell is Bucky? It's just Cap, Widow, and Falcon against the world. But Steve Rogers knows about fighting wars, and to do so, he needs the right uniform. 
specifically his old one from the Smithsonian. When the security guard, played by an all too familiar face, discovers it's missing, he has concerns. I am so fired. It's a perfectly timed bit of comedy before the final action packed battle, and Stan Lee delivers it perfectly. He always lands on his feet, though, so we're not worried about him finding work. Number 4. School Librarian The Amazing Spider Man. This version of Peter Parker's first arch enemy as Spider Man is Kurt Connors, aka The Lizard. Upon discovering Peter's secret identity, the lizard goes searching for the wall crawler at school. Nearly everyone evacuates the school, thankfully, but some get left behind. As Spidey and the lizard brawl through the school library, Stan Lee, as the school's librarian, obliviously goes about his job while listening to music. The single continuous shot of the superhero and supervillain fighting behind Stan Lee and his complete lack of awareness of his surroundings is both cool and extremely funny. Number 3. Himself, Mall Rats. One of Stan Lee's most heartfelt appearances is also one of his longest. What's more, it's one of the few cameos to get a nod in another cameo, as Stan is seen practicing for it in Captain Marvel. Trust me. Trust me. In this film, he approaches one of the protagonists, Brody. He listens to Brody's woes on romance and many questions on superhero genitals. Stan also claims to have crafted many of his Marvel Comics characters in response to his experiences of heartbreak and regret. A normal guy one minute, a rage of emotions the next. Just like me when I thought about what I'd given up. So you created each character as a way to deal with your one big regret. Yeah, the girl that got away. This is soon revealed to have been a speech from a Spider-Man comic that he repurposed to help Brody at the request of his buddy. But regardless of its source, it's still some great advice that really helps Brody pursue the woman he loves. Number 2. Himself, The Simpsons If this were a list of shows that Stan Lee has cameoed on the most, The Simpsons would easily take the top spot. Stan Lee has appeared in one of the show's famous opening couch gags. He's also acted as a spirit guide and wedding officiant for Springfield's resident comic book guy. Geekly beloved, we're gathered here in the eyes of me, King of the Cameo, Stan Lee, to celebrate the wedding of comic book guy and Kamiko Nakamura. Stan's most notable cameo occurs when he shows up to give a critique on Bart's comic strip. Although he doesn't like it, he still encourages Bart to keep trying. Oh, I don't know. Try everything! Now hold on, comic book guy. This boy's still finding his voice. So you're saying I should keep trying? Absolutely. And if you fail, you can always open a comic book store. However, he also doesn't leave comic book guy's store, running children's toys and even tearing off his shirt under the belief that he's the Hulk. He can't be the Hulk. I'm the Hulk. Oh, please, you couldn't even change into Bill Bixby. Come on, damn it, change! We like him, whether he's angry or not. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Himself, Spider-Man Before there was a Spider-Verse on the big screen, this 90s cartoon did it first. In the finale of the show, a Spider-Man from the real world brings Peter Parker to meet his maker. Literally. In your reality, I'm a character in fiction? Yep, and I'm an actor who plays you on TV. But there's someone here I knew you had to meet. He's the man who created you for fans all over the world. Spidey drops in on Stan Lee in his office and takes him for a web swing. It's inspiring not only for Stan Lee to meet one of his creations, but also for Spider-Man, who sees that his heroism is appreciated after all. I've always wanted to experience real web slinging, and I've always wanted to be appreciated as a real hero. It seems you've made me into one. Thanks. Hey, don't mention it. Stan also has another on-screen encounter with his wife, who plays Madam Web. 
It's the ultimate comic fantasy wrapped into a few minutes. And it's wonderful to see someone who inspired so many true believers get his own beliefs confirmed for him. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.